I got baited in the first episode, thinking Glenn would win the duel. Then I got baited, thinking that Glenn was an OP magic user, but he's like, psych, I activate my trap card. This nullifies magic for me too. And then he just <laughs> his fight. And I'm like, are you serious? This is, they subverted my expectations over and over and in a good way too. It's very interesting. He's like military hand-to-hand -hand combat. He's super strong. Now, there's also some other stuff like where was he for those four years? Like apparently it's, it's heavily implied that he was like the military doing uh, whatever assassinations, military stuff, and then Selica pulled him out and now he's here. But what's even more interesting is Rumia and how Rumia's backstory, like she's like a princess and she was supposed to be assassinated by Glenn Sather. She is so important to the plot. Also, the floating castle with Sisti, very important plot points that I should be remembering, but I feel like sometimes it might not pay off since we only have one season of this and there's no point schizo theorizing. I'm still gonna try my best. Let's begin today's reaction. Oh, Sisti, what's up? Your panic color, did I see it? What do you mean? What panic, what kind of color she wear? Oh, he's being serious! He's actually being serious! Never mind. Now it's not being serious. I was like, what's going on? This is way too serious. <laughs> Lecture three, the fool and death. <laughs> okay, incompetent. Before, last time, you know the guy in the fountain? Uh, the, the thing that he, he, he stripped him naked and put him there. It's a very small penis or something. It's she's at the, uh, she's at the conference. Yeah, we're getting attacked. Yo, I just realized that guy has the same glove as Glenn he always wears. The person that took Rumia, he has Glenn's white glove. That white glove, I, I still don't know what that white glove is, but okay, he has the same pair. Maybe it's because they're also from military hand-to-hand -hand combat and that's like a specific thing to them? <laughs> Divine wisdom. Okay. I'm gonna blame... I don't really know. I guess there's that one shitty teacher who thinks that Glenn even shouldn't even be here for right reasons, honestly. He's just super jealous, but like... He was kind of off. Other than that, I'm not sure. Megane. <laughs> it's, it's the fucking Megane, dude. No, it's not. It's probably the other teacher, but I'm not sure if I really know anyone else that, like, hates Glenn. <laughs> she cares. Or he cares, but... <laughs> Stay safe. Aww. So it's that red orb thing that they communicate through. Glenn has a bracelet and she has that earring. Go help yourself, sisty. Okay. It's good for killing. You could also say, because magic exists, you can use it to save Rumian. Petting the Sundere cat girl. No. Yeah, she did. She's super important, but it's gonna be interesting because if the full card like, gets activated and they can't use magic, the other dude has gloves, so I'm sure he can actually fight with the full card in play. And in those situations, couldn't you just then deactivate the full card, implying like like if, if he's good at hand to hand combat, just go back to regular magic, and Glenn should be better. I don't know what Glenn really specializes. In. It seems like he just kind of specializes in hand to hand combat. <laughs> what? <laughs> Glenn has killed before, yeah? <laughs> oh, oh! You're not wrong. It's a bastard instructor. He said it. He said the line. 
ちと同じ人殺しの芸道さ先生 You are stalling Skeleton? Bowen Golems Bowen Golems That's a funny way of saying Skeleton Knight, right? Bowen... That's like such a... What other words synonyms could you use to describe a skeleton, bro? Fucking skeleton. Bone golems. Calcium infused fucking soldiers. Boss Rake. Their boss is Rake. Kill him too, yeah, kill him too, dumbass. You deserve this! Yes! I'm so glad Glenn didn't even try saving him. Good, good, good. Oh, they sturdy! Calcium. Buff. Sisty buff. You alter your specialty gale blow and spread wide and last long. Mm. Spread wide and last long. I feel like the dialogue here is extremely, extremely intentional. You want me to spread for that long? Spread them! Last long, that's right. You gotta spread him and last long. Let's go, Shironeko. What is it supposed to do? I thought that you would like shoot like arrows or something. I thought you would shoot like green arrows or something. You're literally just like sending wafts of like fart colored things at them. It's just like, what? Are you serious, Sisty? That's it? Yeah. Is it enough? Magic! He's chanting! Oh, multiple circles! Because a long ass chant! That's what I'm talking about! Extinction Ray! There we go! Black magic? Also, she needed to use some kind of catalyst, like some kind of rock to use that black magic. Okay. There's a lot of negative side effects to this. The Glenn doesn't have a lot of mana. I thought he would because he's just the main character of these magical shows. Uh oh. Uh oh. Extinction Ray. Shit. It's Uchiha Madara again. Oh my god. Popped collar Madara is here with those fucking floating swords. It's over. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Floating swords does get me bad enough. Fun. Anytime you show when some dude has like an attack that summons like weaponry, glowing golden weaponry behind, it's like, oh fuck. We're cooked. <laughs> Oh, it is Rake! It is Rake! So he killed one of his own, right? With the skeleton soldiers or the fucking calcium freaks. Sorry, bone golems. So this is Rake. <laughs> Classic lead. Get the fuck out of here, bitch. Nah, we're saving her. It looks like he's being a dick, right? It looks like he's being a dick, but, but, you know? He just done that. He, 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 he's saving her, bro. He's just fucking saving her. <laughs> the fool's world. The world. You can't stop stuff that's already active, huh? Interesting limitation of Zafu. So in that instance... Oh shit, he can use this burst too. He's kind of nasty, bro. Rake, I mean. What was that, fake out? He pulled out a car for a second. 
Bastard instructor. Substitute teacher. Just takes the hit. What does this do? Sisti! This purse! Okay, Sisti deactivates and then. He has a sword now to attack with. Oh, oh. I, I straight up thought these are like magical swords that could like, like, you know, be summoned. But like, these are just actual swords. So this seems like very fraudulent. Because I thought these like mana material magic swords that could continuously summon like light something. But it's just actual swords they just coated with paint. And now that it's like stuck and deactivated, he's like cooked now. What a fraud, bro. <laughs> You're that guy from before. The fool? What, what, what's, it? what's the code name? What's the code name? Ah, they're saving that code name. What do they call him? I want to know. It's got to be something crazy, right? Is it really just the fool? Or it's got to be something kind of different? Yeah, I thought he was just pushing her out to be safe, but the intent was for her to come back and clutch. He did ask that before. I thought he truly just wanted her to just get saved. That's a big brain play. Yeah, you're looking rough. No mana, physical damage. Oh, they're gonna take the gloves off. Healing. Healing? Yeah. Oh, 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 wait. Backstory lore. Wait! Does he wear a... No, he's still wearing a glove right here, though. But this is basically during his military times after graduating. And this is the mountain of corpses that he had to kill. But do you think that he wears the gloves so that the blood no longer dirties his hand or something? Like, what is it? He's wearing a glove on the left hand there in the scene, though. And that's why he hates, quote unquote, hates magic, right? そっちは。あ、あの女を転送法人は潰されていた。一つ気になることがある。うん。学院に貼られた結界だが、どうも外に。どうやって逃げるつもりだ。レイクとかいうやろう倒してから追撃に。いや、what <笑> いどさきをかきかえられてるんだ。バカな。そんなのハニチ。お、リアクションヒールドカインドオブナットリーリー。システィーナ。お前がいてくれて本当に良かった。なんかチートオンヒーウッドルミア。キャメラマンチェラック
Oh! Oh! Glove came off! Glove came off for the first time! What's he about to do? Fucking summon a giant toad, bro? Okay. Oh, that was painful. Or remove teleportation circle. Oh, this is how you remove it. <laughs> we better keep fucking biting, bro. We got the other hand, too. We gotta keep fucking biting and remove... <laughs> we gotta remove four more fucking layers in time. <laughs> really? We're just gonna keep doing this? <laughs> nah, he won't. He's the main character. No, Shironeko would be crying. Because he's a hero of justice! <laughs> It's that girl again! I, I remember this girl in the earlier episodes and one of the dreams were flashbacks. What is the significance of this girl? Hmm. Dude, I, what, what was the exact scene that she was in? Was... Whose flashback was it? Was it Glenn's flashback? Or was it someone else's flashback? I'm kind of losing the details here. But this girl was definitely shown before. It was just Glenn's flashback. Okay, okay, okay. He fights for her. Is she still alive? She was just standing there. She was just standing there like... Yeah, it's oh, blood loss. Yeah, Huey really is just stuck there until this all ends, right? Because this is the fucking trap he set us up in. Oh, fuck. Come on. Fuck, on the How do you know it shouldn't be possible? Because last layer, it weakens. Now she's gonna give him the mana. I don't know, some kind of healing? How is this possible? Hmm? Amplifier! That's why they want her! Okay, we're free! Everyone's saved! Sisty! Everyone's good! Well, Huey's still alive! We gotta fight Huey now? Huey's just standing there the entire time in the corner. Because <laughs> he couldn't move. <laughs> you won't just let us go, right? Kill him! Take his job! Full-time employment! <laughs> Sensei sleeping. Lap pillow? Oh my god, lap pillow. Then Sensei was great. He clutched. And you know what? It is very interesting how like he is strong, but he wasn't like super OP just clearing everything. He's like struggling the entire time. I thought he would just effortlessly just like destroy everybody, but it was like a teamwork, man. It was like an actual all teamwork. <laughs> Those with special abilities. I'm not sure if they're talking about just amplifiers or there's other special abilities aside from amplifier. She's basically boost. Rumia is so important, huh? Bro's a lolicon. No, it's because he wants to be a mage of justice. And for the first time, he feels like, you know what? Maybe... Instead of, you know, he's lived an entire life of wanting to be a hero, but it turns out it was just a tool for mass killing. But now, by teaching these kids and then empowering them and, you know, saving them, it feels like he could become a mage of justice again. A rekindling of old passions. And those girls, most importantly. The average blue archive enjoyer. Sensei. The sensei, what you saying? You just gonna watch him? Alright. I mean, the sensei in Blue Orca also just kind of exists and just watches the girls just do the things, right? And he just, he's just, he just, he just there, bro. He just, he's not doing anything. He's just there, just like, he's just observing them, you know, be cunny. Sirika jealous there? No, she's not, right? Alright. Everyone's happy. 
Everyone saved. Happy ending. And that is today's episode. Man, first three episodes was so hype. Yeah, this does feel like a finale, huh? It's crazy how we're only three episodes in. We already just like went through so much. Holy crap. It's a well-paced show. Every episode has been just fucking on point. And this is how anime should be, bro. There shouldn't be an entire episode of just yapping and setup. Why can't every episode be engaging? I'm sure there's going to be some episodes where it's less exciting. But I truly believe that if an anime is actually good, it should be able to capture an attention of the audience with each episode, even if it's considered to be boring adaptations. But hey, today's epic was fucking lit. What do we learn today? Rumia has crazy powers. Rumia can amplify it. I'm not sure if there's other people out there with different special abilities, but it seems like amplifiers are special ability people. Um, Shui, plot twist. I guess it was kind of obvious that it, it was either going to be him or the teacher that was blatantly hating on Sensei, but Shui was just basically part of the followers of the Divine Wisdom, which are just like an evil mage association terrorist, and then they're going to be the main antagonist force moving forward. Rumia's death was supposed to be she died of an illness, but only the headmaster Serika and now, of course, us, we know of it. And I'm sure more people are going to be trying to capture Rumia to exploit the, uh, what's the word? Trying to capture the amplifying power. And that's only three episodes in, bro. We still got a lot left. I'm wondering what kind of, you know, new arc we're going to go into. But that's for us to find out next episode. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for more content. And until next time, take care.